Welcome to the Euromonitor International podcast section. Today, we'll have a closer look at anti-pollution in beauty and personal care with Maria Coronado, Ingredients Associate at Euromonitor International. So Maria, why is everybody talking about anti-pollution ingredients? Well, the anti-pollution trends that started in Asia-Pacific some years ago is now becoming a global market need. The reason behind this is that pollution is a huge global problem with no boundaries. It is affecting many places in the world, from Paris and London to cities in Asia-Pacific. So it's just common sense to think that pollution is likely to damage our body in the same way that UV radiation does. In fact, pollution protection is becoming as essential as UV protection, especially in highly polluted megacities. Aware of this, key cosmetic players such as L'Oreal and Olay has investigated the pollution problem to discover that there is a connection between pollution and skin aging. Results show that long-time exposure to high level of pollutants can weaken the natural defenses of the skin, which are there to protect us from the environment. This discovery opens up opportunities to market new ingredients able to clean, protect and repair our natural barriers against pollutants. Ingredient suppliers and cosmetic manufacturers have cleverly captured these market trends and there is an increasing number of ingredients and products reaching the market that tackle pollution. Ingredients with detoxifying properties are mainly used in facial cleansers and shampoos. Fermented and probiotic ingredients are introduced in facial masks and moisturizers and uh, antioxidant ingredients such as plant extracts and vitamins as well as physical and chemical anti-pollution filters are found in a number of products from sunscreens to BB CC creams and shampoos. What is actually driving this trend? Consumer needs around the world are driving demand for these products and opportunities for anti-pollution ingredients differ between East and West. For instance, in China, with the highest pollution levels in the world, a growing health concern is driving the trend. Chinese consumers are increasingly worried about the connection between skin conditions and hair loss with pollution. Western consumers, less affected by pollution and very influenced by the K-beauty trend, are more worried about premature skin aging. In the East, the use of food ingredients and probiotic and plant extracts with cleansing and detox properties and products with specific anti-pollution claims such as anti-particulate matter 2.5 are on the rise. Henkel has recently launched in Asia its Swatchkov Extra Care Purifying and Protect range with Moringa seed extract that purifies hair and scalp from urban dust. Beyond Asia, key brands such as Clinique and Clarins market products with less specific claims such as City Blocker or City Defense. Aware of this, global ingredients manufacturers are investing in innovation to develop novel active anti-pollution ingredients with antioxidant properties, field-forming polymers or metal chelator agents able to prevent metallic pollutants from sticking to the skin and hair. What's ahead for the anti-pollution trend? There is no doubt that the trend is here to stay because solving the pollution problem is not easy. However, there are some barriers that the industry needs to overcome to reach the full market potential. The first one is that there is still a lot of unknowns about how pollutants damage the skin and hair, and this is something that the ingredients manufacturers need to address with further research. The mechanisms by which pollutants damage the skin may depend on the specific pollutant, plus climate conditions, skin type, skin conditions, population aging, and even ethnicity. So additional added value could be achieved through customization to target multicultural consumers with specific needs across the world. The second barrier is the lack of standardized anti-pollution tests. Although some of the ingredients seem to be very promising, consumers start to demand proof of the efficacy. There is a need to develop reliable international standard tests similar to those used for the UV proof, able to provide enough scientific evidence to back up the claims. Clearly, anti-pollution ingredients are an exciting opportunity for the industry. Okay, and thank you, Maria. And thank you for listening to this podcast. Remember, you can find all of our media, including articles, videos, and podcasts, on our blog at blog.euromonitor.com. Thanks for joining us today.